Title Update 10 starts today, agents. Now, could it? Will it be the Title Update 1.7 for the Division 2? Time will only tell. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome all to IGY6 Games, the game show that brings you a variety of entertainment and content. Bo here in your ear before I kick things off. I'd appreciate the love by y'all sharing and hitting those icons that need to click. And with that said, check out the social media where I post daily and keep in touch with followers. Now let go. Today's video is about covering the week leading up to the release of Season 2, which drops Tuesday, June 23rd. So from the 16th, let's get going. And the first thing is new exotics, new weapons, new gear, new sets. Let's cover exotics first. We have the SRS sniper rifle, which is called the Mantis. It has interesting talents. I'm sure y'all are well equipped and well researched to know what all the talents and perks are. I'm just going to keep going with the shit that's being dropped. The mask is called Vile. Very interesting mask for status and weapon uh, damage dealing. That's a mask I'll be checking out, hopefully finding real quick in a hurry. Real quick, real fast and in a hurry. Now we have new gear sets being dropped. Now, just because it's not season two doesn't mean the new drops aren't dropping yet. Everything's been added to the open world to the drop loot drop system. So the new gear set is Eclipse Protocol and of course I don't have the tech savvy skills to have put together a nice little fucking graphic for y'all <laughs> one day I might get nerdy enough for that shit but there's one new gear set out for you the other two will be released with the raid this is only season two shit which does drop today New brand set out there called Walker Harrison Co. Of course, Walker Texas Ranger, me being from Texas, but I'm not that interested in it. I mean, 5% weapon damage, 5% damage to armor, 5% damage to health. Uh, I, I feel like it should be a little bit higher. Who knows? Maybe the one piece set might. I don't know. I'm going to fucks with it and try to make it happen. The new named weapons. We got two here. We have the mechanical animal, which is the SIG 556. And it comes with the future perfection weapon talent. And I'm sure y'all are well aware of them. Harmony for the Resolute Mark 47 LMG. That comes with perfectly in sync. And I'll cover these new talents in a little bit. New named gear. The Matador which is the backpack and it's from the Walker Harris and Co gear brand god it's so fucking gear brand I call them brand sets yeah brand set this comes with perfect adrenaline I am very interested in this talent but again that will be covered here in the near future new skill variant not coming until we kill the last rogue keep going new talents here we go Future Perfect, Weapon Kills Grant, plus one skill turret for 15 seconds, stacks up three times. That is three skills, tiers within 15 seconds. I don't know if it's that worth it. Weapon Kills at skill tier six, Grant's Overcharge for 15 seconds. Now we don't have to just throw a fucking nade from the cost of backpack. Love it. This might be something I can fucks with with that one. And then the overcharge cooldown, minute and a half, 90 seconds. So initially, you start up your battle, getting yourself overcharged as quick as possible, getting that weapon kill. Weapon talent in sync. Not the boy band. These are separate fucking words. In sync. Hitting an enemy grants plus 15%. Percentage to skill damage for five seconds. I swear to God, when they told us that we wouldn't need spreadsheets and shit for this game, it's a bold ass fucking lie. Next, using a skill or damaging an enemy with the skill grants 
plus 15% uh, weapon damage for five seconds. Now here's the interesting part of this in-sync talent. Damage increases are doubled while both buffs are active at the same time. This is a very status skill, well skill, weapon. This is your hybrid that you're going for that they say could be a meta. And I'm going to go ahead and try to make that meta build or try to make the hybrid build and see if it does become a meta. I will be going for that shit today. Backpack talent, adrenaline, the one I said that sounds real good. When you are within 10 meters of an enemy, gain 20% bonus armor for 5 seconds, stacks up to 3 times. So that's fucking 60% bonus armor if you rush, let's say, a patrol or the beginning of a spawn of a wave of NPCs. This could be a little face tanky now. I kind of dig this one. I've been waiting for this kind of shit. Cooldown is 5 seconds on it. Chest Talent Headhunter. After killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit. Within 30 seconds, deal 125% of that killing blows damage in addition to it. Sounds complicated? I don't know. Now that covers the new weapons, gear, talents with title update 10 until of course the raid which drops the new exotics and gear set there. But let's Charlie Mike on to <laughs> a little voice crack there. <laughs> Gameplay changes. Now this is some good shit here, y'all. Let's go with I don't know. Let's see. Reducing how many elites will spawn in the following missions. And let's just say in general, it's long missions. Maybe they want us to get through those specific missions a little quicker because some of these missions I don't know if you're having a bad squad or something they can play like a stronghold and how about missions just run like fucking five ten minutes you know we don't need 30 45 minutes to run one fucking mission that's what a stronghold's for anywho it's Manning National Zoo stronghold Coney Island Ballpark, Coney Island Amusement Park, Camp White Oak, Space Admin Headquarters, Federal Emergency Bunker, Wall Street, Liberty Island. Is that a strong? I don't know. It's a long fucking mission. Pathway Park, Stranded Tanker, and The Tombs. So all the missions over there in New York. Now loot. I love this. Here we go. General added all new season two weapons gear to general loot pools. As I covered earlier, it doesn't wait till next Tuesday. This shit drops today. Item power. Updated item power. Distribution to have better spread between minimal and maximum for all difficulties. So in general, we're getting better gear. And gear that more goes with the difficulty of our uh, global difficulty that's set increased minimum rolled item power for field efficiency dz caches and the clan caches and season caches so we get better shit for our rewards of leveling up and shit we'll see actually i do like some of that stuff that drops from them so now with better rolls who knows Difficulty scaling. Regular loot from loot containers and missions now scale within mission difficulty. I didn't know they worked. So, this is good now to pop all the shit in there, apparently, as this paper says. So, the patch notes. Targeted loot from loot containers and missions now scales with mission difficulty. Loot containers, parts are of living world activities now scale with global difficulty. In general, whatever your global slash mission difficulty is set to, that's what your loot's set to. Makes sense, I don't know why the fuck it wasn't going on beforehand. Targeted loot, another good one. Nice little quality of life. Increased targeted loot drop chance for all missions and control point difficulties. Yes, I love me some control points. Add a new season two brand to targeted loot rotation starts today. Warlords of New York brands can now 
also show up in DC as targeted loot. Thank God, I'm tired of running, you know, New York for that Cheska or that, <coughs> excuse me, that Grupo Sombra Team Shadow. Those two, you know, I like to work for, like to grind for, and now you can find them in DC and not strictly New York. Great change. Named items, increased name item drops. Okay, and then exotics. These are all dropping now. <laughs> I mean, everything is just increased chances of dropping. That's pretty much with new gear and targeted loot and how it's going to work from here forward. Puppy! But, I love this. With the legendaries, you get increased NPC loot drops from the vets, aka purples, and the elites, the yellows. So that's cool. For people who are having a little trouble, uh, like myself at DUA, we get better drops if we don't get to any particular boss drops. The crafting has changed it as well. Changed it. Did. The crafting, now let's just say, should be relevant to craft. I mean, goddamn, how many of us just were so desperate for that certain piece and we're like, fuck it. Maybe I get lucky at crafting. And what do you get? Bullshit. So thank God crafting station supposedly now should be working like it did in TD1. Another interesting quality of life improvement is now the vendors. The vendors may be a nice little weekly go check out your vendors to see what the fuck they got. Because it should be something you could get every once in a while. Unlike how it's been recently. So they've added named items to both open world and dark zone vendors. Increased prices for the named items, who gives a shit. Increased item power for all vendors. And, get this, finally they've dropped all superior, aka purple, fucking weapons and gear. Um, Rogue Agents Encounters. This will help us when Season 2 starts and we're going for the leagues with those time trials they no longer fucking interrupt us with the missions but not only that each and every rogue kill drops loot that's quite a little plus there a nice little plus as well for especially you solo gaming mother oh guys <laughs> control point officers now when you get revived by control point officer you receive 80% of your armor and not just getting revived at zero with just your health remaining. Another thing, they reduce the likelihood of the control point officer being downed while in combat. Of course, that again helps mostly solo agents. Now you have better chances at, I guess, farming heroic control points. Now hang in there, agents. It's a fucking big. I mean, this was a 29 page fucking printout. There's so much to be covered. So let's get on to the next one, which is projects. Projects. Now, for the weekly shade requisition project slot, you remember the one that you would do and it would get you, you just turn in some fucking resources and then you, or materials, and it'll get you like that crafting blueprint. And then after you filled out your blueprints, it's just trash. Well, guess what? Now, in-game players at World Tier 5, level 40, now have a weekly supply donation project which rewards them with an exotic cache. Now remember, this is weekly, not the daily. For World Tier 5 players, this replaces the previous daily shade requisition project. This is the week, so this is one chance at getting exotic a week, just simply doing one project. Now, with Legendary Missions Project, another new biggie. Check this. After title update 10, completing any Legendary Mission will grant you the weekly Legendary Mission Project slot, which would be with the weekly Shade Requisition, but completing the designated Legendary Mission will reward you with an exotic cache. So you can't just go and cheese the one that you got down. You gotta go for the one that's designated for that slot. Or not for the slot, but the designated mission for that week, and you get exotics. So that's two exotics per week if you grind those particular parts of the game, end game. 
And the last couple things, weapon handling is now changed. So 1% handling now gives you 1% weapon accuracy, stability, reload, swap speed from, now get this, this shit was set to 0.25, a quarter of a percent. So weapon handling now gives you stability, accuracy, the fucking bloom of your, your cursor, the reload speed, and swap. So, really good for particular couple of builds that I can think of. Striker. Uh, you want to snipe really good for the rifles Imagine getting at that additional fucking accuracy and stability with the um, those rifles with the bloom staying small Woo -hoo -hoo! I can see weapon handling kind of being relevant to throwing into your build not just crit stacks with the damage and chance talent changes There's only four of them and that's it Let's cover the talent changes, which is leadership. Bonus armor now increased to 15% from 12. That's a 3% increase. Spike. Skill damage duration increases from 15 seconds from 8. It's a damn near 100% increase. Nice on spike. Reformation. Skill repair damage uh, duration increases from 15 seconds. I mean, to 15 seconds from 8 seconds. Uh, that's more for like healing yourself and then creeping death. I've always had an interest in this talent No longer goes on cooldown if there are not valid nearby enemies to apply status effects to after getting your kill so I Didn't know that fucking thing didn't work like that in the first place. So I'm glad that's how they fixed it now there's way much more to cover but I'm not going to get into all the weapons. If you need weapon, I would go to the patch notes if you want to get the specifics. But bases, assault rifles got increased, SMGs, shotguns, pistols, pistols, not just the shoddy that you can equip in your, in your fucking handgun slot. And rifles got increased, but there were some nerfs. Classic M1A, and there was a couple of rifles that stayed the same. So be checking to that. I'll put a link in for the patch notes in the description. Now I gotta remember that shit. <laughs> and yeah, all the weapon changes with the buffs and nerfs. Other than that, all the new shit drops next week, next Tuesday for season two, and then the following week is the raid 2 iron horse a lot of shit to be done here in the future so get at it agents let's see if this is a big fix and balances the game i hope it does i mean i'm kind of digging i love the season just the whole idea of seasons it kept me in the game the past three months i hope season two does the same i hope shit doesn't get broken because every time they try to redo shit shit gets broken Let's pray upon, I mean, thank God for all the hard work they did, having to work from home. But let's just pray they didn't fuck the game up. Still no outro, y'all. When I get that 1K subscriber hit, though, I will be giving out a free back button attachment for the PlayStation 4 controller. Other than that, please support the goddamn channel slash me. And as always, I say, peace. Get out!